aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have another liquid lipstick review video. You guys know that's kind of what my channel has become a little bit. I'm kind of like known to be the lip swatcher girl. And of course you guys know I love my liquid lipsticks and of course lots of brands are coming out with their new liquid lipstick formula. So I am here to make your job and your wallet hopefully a little bit better by reviewing as many of the formulas as I possibly can. So today we are going to be talking about the BH Cosmetics Long Wearing Liquid Lipsticks. You can pick these up on the BH Cosmetics website, which I believe is just bhcosmetics.com. These retail for $6 a piece, which is an amazing price. BH Cosmetics released 10 different shades in this long wearing liquid lipstick line, and they released a lot of those trendy nude colors, which I am super excited about. First things first, we'll start with the packaging. This is what the box of the liquid lipsticks looks like. On the back, it does have all of the ingredients and it does say that these are made in the USA. And then this is what the outer packaging on the actual tube looks like. It does just say BH Cosmetics, liquid lipstick. Here's what the applicator looks like. It's a pretty standard doe foot applicator and I'm actually surprised by how well this actually applies the liquid lipstick on your lips. At the bottom of the tube you have a little sticker with the name. Now on the bottom of the tube it says made in PRC. I don't know what PRC is so I'm gonna look it up. Huh, that's kind of weird. So Wikipedia says PRC is the usual abbreviation for People's Republic of China, also known as the country of China. So the box says made in the USA, but the tube says made in China. I don't know what's what, you guys just take that forever you guys want that to mean. Now the claim of this liquid lipstick, which is written right on the box, it says this long wearing full coverage liquid lipstick goes on wet and dries to a soft matte finish. I will say that I feel like that is very, very true. Before we get into talking about the formula on this product, I just figured I'd go ahead and tell you guys this up front that I had absolutely no intention of purchasing these liquid lipsticks when I heard they first came out. That's mainly due to the fact that I haven't had a lot of good luck with $6 liquid lipsticks. Hint, hint. But also I hadn't heard anybody else talk about the formula of these. I'll be perfectly honest, a lot of the lip swatches I see on Instagram, I take with a grain of salt because those people who are like professional lip swatchers can literally make the worst product look amazing. I swear they could probably sell me a clear lipstick and convince me that it's something that I need. So given that my expectations were so low, I was completely blown out of the water thrown from my comfort zone, impressed with the formula. I'll tell you guys this up front. If you are a fan of this liquid lipstick formula, the Kat Von D Everlasting, you will probably love these. In my honest opinion, I feel like these are practically dupes. And you guys know my thoughts on this Kat Von D Everlasting liquid lipstick. These are my favorite liquid lipsticks on the market, hands down. So when I put these on my lips for the first time, I was in shock by the pigmentation, the way it dried down, the way it wore, everything was so reminiscent of this baby. And you guys know that these are like 20 or $21, and these are six. And I'm telling you, if this formula was poured into this tube and just given to me, I wouldn't even question it. These are more of a traditional, typical liquid lipstick. Just like the Kat Von D ones, they're not that whipped, thicker, creamier formula. These definitely go on more liquidy. They take just a couple of seconds to dry down, maybe 10 to 15 seconds, and they are completely transfer proof. These do not flake, these do not crack, these do not transfer. These can 
sink into the lines in your lips. Only some of the shades do that. Most of the shades are perfectly a-okay, but I did point out a couple of the shades that I had a little bit of a formula issue with in the individual lip swatches. Let's go ahead and jump right into individual lip swatches and up close swatches of all 10 of the shades that BH Cosmetics offers. So let's jump into it. This first shade I have on my lips is called Muse. And this is a really, really beautiful, muted, gray toned neutral color. This is a very, very trendy color. And this color went on super opaque and pigmented, not streaky. Serena is a medium bright, like an orangey creamsicle type color. It's that perfect, slightly bright peach. Super, super beautiful. And this one actually looks surprisingly flattering on my skin tone. Clara is another absolutely beautiful neutral color. This one is that medium neutral brown with kind of a warm peach undertone to it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I could see this color working on tons of different skin tones. And Dora is a nice medium mauvey pink type color. It's kind of like a warmer pink, so it's very, very wearable on most skin tones. I will say that this one, the formula does settle in the lip lines a little bit more than the neutral shades that I showed you previously. Princess is a crazy bright neon fluorescent light pink color. I will say this is definitely not a shade that I would wear by itself on my skin tone. It looks a little crazy, but I will also say that the texture on this one is a little bit funky. It's a little bit um, like it's got clumps in it, so you kind of have to smooth the clumps out a little bit. Cha-Cha is another oh my gosh, in your face, neon bright pink. But this one I can actually pull off because it's not a baby pink. It's just a really, really bright highlighter pink. The consistency on this one is much better than the light pink princess. But I will say this one is slightly sheer. It kind of reminds me of like a jelly finish. Glory is your perfect pinup girl red color. One thing I will say about this red is I feel like it had a very similar formula to the last shade I showed you in that it has a little bit of translucency to it. It's almost like a jelly finish. So you do have to be a little bit careful applying this one. Lust is a beautiful deep burgundy red color. I love these colors for the winter time. This is one I'm definitely going to be reaching for over and over and over again because the formula on this one is amazing amazing as well. Super opaque and creamy. I love this. Bewitched is, oh my goodness, amazing. This is a beautiful bright violet purple. You guys know purple anything on my mouth is going to be loved, but the formula on this one is amazing as well. I was worried it was going to be one of the jelly finish type formulas, but this one is not. It's super opaque, creamy, pigmented, glides on beautifully. I love this color. And the last shade we have is called Icon, and this is a very beautiful, deep, plummy, grape, Bordeaux type color. It's really, really beautiful. This one also has a really fantastic formula to it. Now, in terms of wear on this formula, I can get a really, really fantastic wear. A good six to seven hours if I'm eating and drinking very mildly, but I can get it to last a full nine hours on my lips if I'm not eating any greasy food. These don't feel heavy or sticky or tacky on the lips. That's something that I found is the case with a lot of liquid lipsticks. They'll dry down and still feel kind of sticky. These don't at all. But despite them drying down to a completely powdery finish, they're not super, super drying. They are very, very similar to the Kat Von D Everlasting. So if you've tried this formula and you think it's too drying on your mouth, then the BH Cosmetics ones will be the same. Another thing I did want to note, which I do think is kind of important, is that 
The color that you see in the tube through this clear plastic is not always the way it's gonna look on your lips. I have found a lot of these to actually look darker or brighter on the mouth than they even appear in the tube. Another thing I wanted to mention about the packaging is that I feel like some of these tubes are a little bit overfilled in the sense that when you put the applicator back in some of them, they will start kind of getting really messy and just kind of like squirting out of the top. So I have had that issue with a couple of different shades. So I would be a little bit careful when you take the applicator out and put it back in. My overall thoughts on these liquid lipsticks is two thumbs up. I am so in love with these. And I know you guys may think I'm being a little over dramatic, but I have never found a liquid lipstick that has come this close to my all time favorite Kat Von D. And to say that a $6 liquid lipstick is the thing that's comparing it, that's amazing. These are hands down my most favorite liquid lipsticks that are under $10. Hands down, no question about that. But let me just say, BH Cosmetics hit it out of the park with this formula and this release. And I definitely don't give them enough credit for some of the products that they do come out with. So that is pretty much it. I know this video came out of left field for me too. I did not expect to love these this much. I really didn't. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have checked out these liquid lipsticks and what you think. Because a couple of you guys have said that you've tried them and you thought I needed to try them, and now that I have tried them, I understand why you said that. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting and subscribing. It really, really means a lot to me, and I will catch you guys in my next video on Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye. I picked up my first Jeffree Star liquid lipstick last Black Friday when he made it it's a neutral color. Don't think that the pigmentation is lacking because the pigment on these black